Sometimes it feels as though you are stuck. You are not going forward, nor are you going backward. Other times it feels as if all you are right now is all you are ever going to be. You find yourself pondering on where the promise of God is. You find yourself asking God, where are the great prophecies you were told about your destiny? When will it manifest? Will it ever manifest? Should you just be realistic and keep doing what it is you are already doing? If any of these questions have ever passed through your mind, have faith because God is saving your best for the last. It doesn't matter if it looks like nothing is working for your good. It doesn't matter if you have lost faith and have won doubt like a cloak. Haggai chapter 2 and verse 9 says that the latter glory of this house shall be greater than the former. God's intention for his children is to grow from strength to strength, from glory to glory. That is how he has designed your life. Hold on to the scripture today because God is saving your best for the last. Where you are right now is only the beginning. It can never be the end. God will cause an increase to what is in your hands. The most beautiful thing about God's increase is that it comes with the full package. It comes with peace, joy, and a sound mind. It doesn't come with pain. This is why you must remain steadfast in praise and prayer as you wait upon the Lord to give you your best. Jeremiah 30 and verse 3 says, For behold, days are coming, declares the Lord, where I will restore the fortunes of my people Israel and Judah, says the Lord, and I will bring them back to the land that I gave to their fathers, and they shall take possession of it. God is all about your restoration and restoration means to return back. The Lord, by His mercies, will return back to you all His promises and His prophecies concerning your life because His word is yea and amen. Don't doubt it. Your best will come in the end. The story of the wedding in the Bible that Jesus attended is a clear example of how God saves your best for the last. There was Jesus in the Bible celebrating with the newly wedded and as it was customary in the days of old, wine was being served at weddings. The celebration of the party was just getting started when they ran out of wine. The most important drink wine was not available. Thank God for Mary who urged Jesus to perform a miracle at the wedding and thank God for the servants who obeyed Jesus when he asked them to fill the wine setter with water. Lo, water was turned to wine and the celebration of the newlyweds was not cut short. Can you see the patterns of success in this story? The first pattern is obedience. Sometimes the manifestation of our latter glory is tied to us being obedient. What has God asked you to do that you have not done? If he has asked you to do it, will he not see you through? Of course he will. The second pattern of success that helped the manifestation of this miracle was the power of an intercessor. Jesus told Mary that his time to perform miracles had not yet come, but even after saying so, still went ahead to perform this miracle. The moral of this pattern is this. Practice intercession. Prayer is a medium of intercession. Ask Jesus, who is seated at the right hand of the Father, to intercede for you, and he will. Do you know why he will? Jesus will show up for you even when it is not yet time. 
because he never wants you to be stranded. Like the wedding, Jesus knew the implication of there being no wine. When you intercede via prayers in your time of need, God comes speedily to rescue you. He knew it could halt their celebration and he doesn't want that. It is the same with you. He will not leave you to be put to shame. So pray, ask the Lord to make haste concerning your needs that are aligned to his word and promises for you and he will come save the day. When the latter wine was served at the wedding, the chairperson of the wedding praised the couple. He said, people always served the best wine in the beginning of the wedding, and when everyone was already drunk, the wine would be watered down and be of lesser quality. However, in the case of this couple, he said that they had saved the best wine for the last and he praised them for it. Imagine the joy and white smiles that must have formed on the faces of the newlyweds when such high praises was given to them at their wedding. In our world today, such a wedding would be the talk of town. Jesus saved the day. He not only turned water to wine, but saved the best wine for the last hour. This is what God will do for you too. If you believe this, say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for how you have sustained me thus far. I know that all that I am now is not the end for me. I believe that my latter glory will be greater than the former. I receive insight and wisdom to do things that will bring me one step closer to my latter glory and by your grace i will remain steadfast until your word that is yea and amen comes to pass congratulations dear friend your latter glory is here and has already begun to manifest have no fear god is not done with you jesus is working things out for your good Jesus will take care of you. God is saving your best for the last. Oh, what joy you will feel when that latter glory comes. What peace you will have when your best days come to fruition. Stay strong, deeply rooted in Christ, and He will show up and save the day again and again for you.